Hey there, on the South Calvin Warrior Land 3, where I'm gonna complain about getting hit. And this time we unlocked this place. Uh, you know this place. It's the Stagnant Swamp in Eastside! Yo, check it out. We got a roll machine. Whoa, what? Alright, this is the kind of shenanigans that happens at the swamp. <laughs> Crazy rope machine shenanigans. Oh man, this is like real platforming and everything. Uh, let's prefer to go up before we get down. No, that's just, whoa, it's like, I just heard it sound like something hit my window or something down on the second floor. Whoa! That's how you get the music piece. That's how you get the big tree! Can't go on the other side of big tree. Can I go on water? Yeah, it's just water, man. I'm gonna go in water now. It's opaque though. You can't see yourself in this water. It's like real water. Check it out. Wait, oh, see, so this is how you get to the big door. That's right. And you can get here. Just destroy more of that tree. It's all cracked. There's a bomb there. What up with that? <laughs> I don't think he's gonna answer my question if I just demolish him away from existence though. Just, just this weird feeling I got. What a weird little setup. At some point, we're gonna have the ability to light these bombs, and something terrible is gonna happen. Can't wait for terrible things to terribleize. Uh, just rolling all oh, there. We go. Okay, I found the silver key. It's underneath the swamp itself. Uh, where else would you hide your keys? Be realistic, please. Don't smile at me. Alright, well, let's go back on the rope ride, except there's another part where there was a split where I could go up or down. I'm gonna go down this time. Whoa, I know, right? It just leads... Oh, that's how you got that music, I guess. Check it out, I'm just dangling. Whoa, how do you go inside this door? Yeah, you can't just... You need a platform of some kind. Maybe there's a way to grow a platform of some kind. But how do you get over there? I can't go through that. I need to be, like, rolling. Oh, right! I remember back in City Town, uh, if you don't jump off of the, the rope machine, the top one, like, I think you end up in a rolling state. I remember this from City and Chaos! The level I've been to once. I don't really remember what else is going on in that place, but oh man, we sure had a muffin, a ragamuffin time. If you add a muffin to a cooler, will you become a dog? Of course not, that's ridiculous. Wario just automatically confirms into opening a box form. Gets very surprised, and what does he find with a flute? Or a Wiimote? No, that's too early for a Wiimote. It's probably just a little, like, wood-carved flute. We're gonna hear a jaunty Wario tune. Check that out. Oh, the, the flute in the picture looks very different. It's a lot more detailed. There's some beautiful scales there, Wario. You will awaken the mad aardvark lord. See, he lives there in the grasslands in South Town. Oh! And also here. So there's a big pot, so I know where to go. Whoa! Whoa! It's a snake! Oh, it's a snake charmer flute. Okay. Yeah, I remember seeing potted uh, pots with, like, the picture of a snake carved on it. So I guess that, that's what we're doing right now. I've awakened the serpents. Whoa, that one's really excited. Well, you know what? Let's start with World 1 and carve our way forward in the universe. You know, just, just because you did a thing doesn't mean you gotta do a thing. The sky was colored there. Peaceful village snake version. Are you the snake? Are you a cake? Banana Bob Flake? Those are amazing commentaries just there, Ow Cow. Congratulations, you are the king of elves. That's all it took, it turns out. Uh, you can carry your prize to the donkey farm in five hours, no more. So what's up, little buddy? Uh, yeah. Okay, you just set me on fire, you're a fire snake. So the goal of that is to be set on fire. Okay. I mean, can you enter a door while in fiery mode? I don't think so. Like, it's been a hot second since I've last been here, so... Is there blocks that necessitated some fire? Because there's these fire robots everywhere. Um, can 
can't match these yet. Like, I don't think... Yeah, this is where a key used to be. But yeah, no, yeah, there's firebots everywhere. So the goal is probably not to be set on fire. Dang it, you, 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 you guy with the red cheeks. Can't go in the door, you won't fit. Alright, so let's try to attack that snake. Like, maybe I just did an inappropriate kind of attack. There you go. Doesn't like that, but it doesn't really do anything. Can I use his help to get on the roof? Is that what I'm supposed to do? End up on the roof and then go in this pipe here on the roof? We got a pipe roof, we're gonna get the music like that. Where am I? Uh, oh, you need to be fat to go through here, I guess. But you can also fall. And maybe you go down through things. I don't know. I really don't. Uh, go away. Oh, man. It's like, see, my problem isn't that I don't die or whatever. It's that I'm just sitting around here for what feels like five hours. I know it's like five seconds. The reality of the number doesn't matter. What matters is how it feels like. Only thing that matters. Well, I can go beyond here. More rooftops adventures. Don't burn me, bot. No burning zone for the Wario kid here. Yeah, I'm on the other side of town now. It's a big locked door, big cement block, big light. <laughs> They're excited about street lights. What am I seeing here? I don't know. Alright, so there's a chest down there, but I don't know if I can get to it. Can I do that jump? I can't. <sighs> Alright. Well, look, maybe the key is down there, too. Like, that's not possible. I gotta walk it off. Look. <laughs> it just bounced on my head. That's just weird. Like, can I get... How am I supposed to get him up here? Like, I can't make an earthquake. Or do you return there? Because there's, like, there's very explicit lock up there that has a donut on it. Like, I know what that means. But how... But I can't go up. And this seems to be fake. Okay, just before I waste, like, a lot of time here, let me just kind of look around here. And this is beyond... Beyond that place, right? There's robots up there. It's not gonna help anyone. This is really all there is here. Like, I can't. Eh. Like, I can't. Like, do I have, like, action help for when you're large? No, I just get action help for when you swim. Okay. See, okay, no, no, there, there he was, uh... Okay, there we go, I solved the puzzle. The puzzle is I let you throw a donut in my face. Oh, that's just insulting. No, wait, I need... Oh, well, no, that's just... Just make him go up there. Right, 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 right. And then I can make him make me get all large. When we're up there, okay, I did it. All right, we gotta move around a little bit to lose it. You can't just sit there. It's not like being on fire. Becoming instantly obese after eating a large donut is not the same as being set ablaze. Learn something new every day. And the exciting adventures of Wario. Uh, yeah, see, I'm seeing that chest there and I'm not seeing a whole lot else. Alright, so theory is you go in that pipe, you get large, and you go down that big massive column thing. This should remain broken, so this puzzle should remain solved. Go away, robot. I liked it when it was a fox better. Dang it. <sighs> See, again, like, I'm just kind of stuck not doing anything while Wario moves around like an idiot, and I can't actually play the game for a while. So I think my issue... It's just that, like, you guys know how much I don't like not being in control in video games, right? It's like, why I don't like win and all that. It's the same thing, like, you just, you have to abandon control for a pretty long amount of time. Alright, come on, buddy. Thank you. Just feed it right in my mouth. It's what I want. Alright, just gonna align myself. Then I should smash all of these in one shot! Yeah, and destroy this thing, too, here. Alright, is this where it is? What? I need to destroy more? 
Okay. Okay, like, wait, no, go away. Not you. Like, I don't want your food. It's bland and, like, tastes like sardine. And, I mean, yeah, there are people that like sardine out there. But probably not in their pastries. I don't know. I'm just kind of kind of saying that. Well, these guys have had a better day. That's fine. Everyone has better days sometimes. There we go. Just bop them. Red key, then everything, all the paths should be open up. It's all good. Solve the puzzle. There we go. This house that used to be such a mystery. Mystery no more. So the snakes, they're just friendly little snakes that help you reach high ledges. Like, they're just being helpful. They're like, you're gonna out of mistake. Like, sure, he's gonna breathe fire on you and you're gonna hurt, but... It's just because he doesn't know how else to communicate. That he just wants to be a friend and help you out. Like, snakes, I don't think, have vocal cords, so communicating is pretty hard. And they- oh man, I gotta redo this puzzle, and this guy just ran away. No, I don't think I need to. Like, the platform's probably still okay. It's probably- the blocks are still removed. Stop throwing donuts unwanted at me. Nothing worse than an unwanted donut. Oh, well, you know what? I bet I can't open a box if I'm large because, yeah, his arms don't reach. So you gotta walk it off back and forth and now become a dream. There you go. That's how you do it. You just become a dream. <laughs> like, it's so easy. How come not everyone should do that? I got myself the Book of Medora! Oh boy, that is one... One thick book. There are a lot of pages uh, in this documentation. So what does it do? I'm assuming a book will do something. A book doesn't do anything? Maybe it does something- Oh, check it out! The friend's coming out! Oh, it's shy again. Shy little snake-o. Okay, sometimes it comes back out. Well, it's fine. Look at that, we colored the sky. Uh... This is the one... Uh, I think I'm gonna have to play a mini-game. Let's do... let's do the other one. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one last. Let's go in the grassland! I forgot about this place, mostly. Do you guys remember where there was... Uh, there's that pot. I kinda remember all this now. Hey, Snakey. Get... get low. Get... get low. I gotta... I gotta jump on your head. There we go. Nice, Snakey. Uh, okay, and from there you go here, I guess. Inside this tree. Let's carve out a tree and make a platforming adventure out of it. I can't even swim inside this tree. Who doesn't swim inside this tree? Hey, there you go. It's that popular status effect bubble. I hate it when I play D&D and I get a bubble status effect. Swim not. If you think not. That's how it's described. It leaves a lot open to GM interpretation, let's be honest. Uh, the reason I wanted to do the one in the middle, because I remember there being a minigame box, and I'm like, I don't want to play golf. Well, found a chest, so get to the bottom of the water tree. All right! Gotta find a key now. I can just swim through everything. I can, it could even get bubbled up, but I'm not going to. Them birds want to make me dizzy and fall off the ladder. Like, you're such a jerk. Why would you do that? You're a bird. You should sing to princesses and see to the re-establishment of the lard factory. Well, I just fell off. Because Rinka, man. Uh, at least now I can not even jump up ahead above that. Yeah! I got money, though. So I guess it's not that bad. It's leveling great. This level is not great, but it sometimes qualified as okay. Alright, I'm gonna wait until he's done breeding fire there, I guess. Silly Snakey. Why'd you do that, silly Billy? Bird! I ducked underneath a bird and I avoided to get dizzy. The most powerful bird ability. Oh boy, uh, oh jeez, what? Well, I was taken by surprise, but it's okay. Because you're just there, and then you go here, so that's fine. This is- this I'm fine with. This makes sense, and you're stuck- not stuck in a status effect for five hours. So it's good. It's- it's all fine, good, fine. Bird, fly, they got flapping wings and beaky beaks, and... 
I eyes that that one doesn't doesn't gel well with thought factory. What if you, I, I'm trying to do a, a a tackle jump, but the tackle ain't coming. Like it's just the tackle doesn't tackle. I think it's because I'm pressing jump a little too fast, or I'm not pressing tackle hard enough. Well, that didn't work. All right, well, I'm gonna keep doing that. Just gotta keep going up that ladder, then fall back down, and gonna go up that ladder. It's like going at the slide back when you were a kid at the park, and you know, it was fun going on the slide, but boy, howdy. Okay, so... See, I thought it'd be something there to help me out, but no. You're expected to stay on the second platform, so you can move on to the third platform. It's a, it's a trick. The top corner of the tree, there's nothing there. There's just berries. You're not interested in berries. You're Wario. You're interested in... bellies. You're just gonna make it gold, so you can make a counterattack out of it. DANG IT! Uh, I don't know, there's something about that jump that seems really precise, or something. Like, again, like, yeah, I'm aware that this is a game that six-year-old played and beat, and I'm struggling a lot with it. I'm aware of that! It's just uh, so different than typical Mario games that, like, none of my skills really feel like they transfer over. It's, like, a completely different game. I'm present. <laughs> I guess I'm too late? I'm waiting too much before I do it? I guess the platforms fall faster than I feel like they are? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. I was afraid that, you know... Oh, wow, the platform is still even there. So that's how you get this money that I didn't get. Because I don't need it. I don't need money. My name is Wario. I make my own money. I'd rather find flutes and wake up snakes. Let's use regular old money. Like, what? What kind of man do you take me for? Clouds, the green chest. Whoa, I did it. So I found a book, I found a flute, and then I found Wario crouching in front of the chest before trying to open it up because just too excited. Whoa, check it out! It's a flower wand. It's that flower stick from Smash Bros. from Paddle the Pond. <laughs> it's gold though, so you know it's good. Oh, you mix it up with the book. With the book and magic wand, uh, we awaken... Whoa, what? We just froze that ocean piece. Just casually freezing it up. We've destroyed how many lives, Wario? How many animals have succumbed due to you just using magic willy-nilly? Like some kind of idiot. You gotta be careful about this.